Two at six, four students have tested positive for COVID-19 at three different schools in the Del Mar Union School District since it reopened for in-person learning. Our ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala explains what the district is now doing to make sure parents have all the information they need. We're just being very transparent and keeping our families informed. The Del Mar Union School District launched this dashboard on its website showing the active COVID-19 cases at its schools. It shows active cases of any COVID at any particular time, and then we update that every week. Four students have tested positive for the coronavirus, two of them at Sage Canyon School, one at Sycamore Ridge, and the other at Torrey Hills. We received the results directly from the families, and we were able to respond very quickly. I'm very happy to say that they are doing very well and we have not had any other cases. Jenny Huzz, the director of student services for the district. She says all students and teachers who came in contact with those who tested positive are quarantined for 14 days. If we learned of a presumed positive case, we would treat it exactly the same way that we would respond to a confirmed positive. Parents are also notified if a student was potentially exposed to someone who possibly came in contact with a positive case. At Sage Canyon, parents learned of two positive COVID-19 cases over the weekend. By Monday, students in the two impacted classrooms were able to transition back to online learning. Superintendent Holly McClurg says the plans the district developed over the summer and put in place to respond to these situations worked as expected. But just to see children not miss a beat with their instruction has been great to see. Now many parents may still have concerns sending their little ones off to school knowing this could happen at any moment. But McClurg says the district's goal is to work with families to make this transition back to in-person learning go as smoothly as possible. Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. In addition to the 14 day quarantine, district officials say that anyone who tests positive for the virus will be excluded from participation in any in person or on site activity until the campus nurse can verify that the person meets the criteria set by the state and county health officials to return.